Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are feeling great this week. This reading is for the 5th to the 12th of April. It is a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate, leave what don't. Um, check out your moon, your rising and your Venus signs as well for other messages pertaining to your love life. Um, if you do like this reading, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like to see more readings. Um, for personal readings and links to my other social medias, feel free to check out the description. There is a ton of information there for you guys. Okay, so I've pre-shuffled the deck. I'm using the Starman Tarot to do your reading and I'm going to pull you an oracle card as well, an energy oracle for the week ahead. I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle again and then we'll pull your cards. Okay, Sag, so your recent past energy, your present energy, and your near future, oh, we've got two, I'm going to take them both, your near future energy here. The energy that is guiding you, and something that you need to know. Your energy... And your person's energy. Bottom of the deck. We have the five of cups. This is what I like to call a space clearing. Emotional space clearing. Clearing out the old and preparing. Preparing and setting the environment for the new here. New energy. New abundant energy. Okay, I'm just going to pull your oracle card. Okay, recent past energy for you guys. We have here the Four of Swords. So definitely some kind of healing some processing type of energy here. Um, a bit of stillness, more stillness in the physical. Um, but here, there's been a lot going on. A lot of understanding, a lot of... Um, this is like preparation here. A lot of thinking about somebody, thinking about a situation, meditating on it. Gaining understanding, clarity about a situation. Healing something healing something old but in it, this this stage that you were at it was like you were processing it trying to gain some understanding some clarity um understanding why certain things went on why certain things happened here um gaining some wisdom as well so with this five of cups at the bottom of the deck it looks like yeah you've been releasing something and your mind is really kind of processing and understanding why, getting the reasons to why, gaining that wisdom. Um, present energy for you, wow, we have the hierophant. Well, you've got this wisdom now. You've got the higher understanding. You've got, you've, you've learned the lesson. You've, you've, you've collected the key. Yeah, you've got the key. You've collected the key to that situation, that lesson that you were in, that experience. Um, so this is great, really empowered energy here. You've really, uh, not just understanding, but I feel like you've gained some sort of power, uh, self-control here and, uh, the wisdom you, you've, you've gained, you can apply it into life here. You've, you've become like some type of master here of, um, of the particular situation, the particular game, the, the role you were in, the experience you were in, um, there is definitely this kind of, you've, you've mastered that, you've hugely leveled up, um, you're ready for something a lot more, um, a 
lot more of everything, a lot more enlightened, a lot deeper, a lot more complex, a lot more responsibility, a lot more abundance, um, a higher level, a higher level of commitment, a higher level of uh, more challenges here because you're ready, you, you know what you're doing, it's like this higher level here. Um, in regards to your love life, in regards to partnerships, um, if you, if you are with somebody, you know, I'm hoping that your person is, is on the same page as you, because here you've had a huge, huge level up, okay, and you are a leader, and I feel like if you were with somebody that maybe, isn't like that, it's going to be very challenging, it's going to be challenging, but then that might be part of the journey to help that person reach your level as well, but I feel here, for a lot of you guys, there is going to be somebody very, I want to say weird, but I don't feel like they're going to be weird, but somebody interesting, somebody kind of a bit different and complex, not your average sort of person, um, maybe being sent to you, Okay, and it's because you're going to start kind of like a new game. You're going to have a new experience here with that person, learning new things, having a whole new experience. And I feel like this is going to be a, kind of like an intellectual experience. You, this is going to be very focused upon mentality and um, learning, understanding and wisdom here definitely this kind of there's going to be you you've had a huge level up there's going to be this higher sort of commitment here it's going to get interesting for you it's going to get really interesting i am getting you're going to get challenged but it's it but you've got the tools you've collected the key so you've got the tools that you need to be able to play that game and to be able to play in a balanced, fair, successful way, you've got the capability of success in this, and it's like, this next experience for you in love, whether it be an experience with somebody that you're with, or, a, or an experience with somebody new, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a new challenging game, but not that it's going to be a horrible one, it's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of reward in this for you, on a personal level, in regards to your own growth, and wisdom, and everything else, but also in the physical, in the material, um, emotionally, there is, but m m the main thing will be mentally, I feel, the main thing will be um, about your mental experience, major wisdom, major wisdom you've already gained major wisdom but it's like pff, what's coming next is huge so we've got here two cards for your near future we have and this could be two options we have here the four of pentacles so you could kind of hold back and decide to stick with what you know or who you know and hold on to what you have and there's the seven of wands now both of these are a little bit kind of defensive but what I would kind of say is that four of pentacles may be a bit of a breather okay you might have a little bit of a breather things that you've been working on you might have a little bit of a breather in regards to building new in your physical you may actually be using the seven of wands there may be some kind of uh other situations that come into your life other people um this isn't to do with this this major experience in relationship. This is kind of like other people, but it's kind of you you've gained you've gained certain skills, you've gained certain wisdom. I feel like things are on a little bit of a pause regarding moving forwards because now you're using these skills to tie up other kind of loose ends that have been gathered in that last cycle with other people. Okay, so it could be other people, other situations, not necessarily pertaining to your immediate relationship or a, a, an immediate connection. It could be to do with like other people in your life. Um, so I feel like it's, and it's weird because it's, it feels like a little bit of a practice run of these new skills and abilities that you've gained 
here, the new wisdom that you've gained, it's like you're going to be, it's like these people or these situations that are coming up for you, they're going to be the easy ones because you've got all this wisdom and information and tools now to deal with them. So that's going to be quite easy, but it's a bit of a practice run, I feel. It's like a bit of a confidence booster, ready for the new experience you have in love. So these, so these ones that are coming in, I don't, they could be ex-partners. They could be other people that are connected to your relationship, um, like friends, friends of partners. They could be family members. Um, if you've recently let go of somebody, if you've let go of them and been doing some healing, it could be people, you know, coming back to do with that person, or it could be people in regards to your own personal life, your own family members, your own friendships, things that, you know, have need tying up really, but you've, you, you're able to do it now effortlessly because you're, you've got this hierophant energy. Um, so yeah, I I would say in near future, kind of I wouldn't be expecting major developments in the physical. You're going to be tying up loose ends, and then I'd say after you've tied up these loose ends and these are like karmic connections, I'd say then you're going to be starting something new, either with somebody new or it could be from somebody from the past that you've that's coming back, or it could be. Um, Somebody that you're with, but you're starting a whole big brand new cycle with them. Definitely, I'm feeling that. The energy that is guiding you for the week ahead is the King of Cups. And again, I just feel like this is kind of... <sighs> you've took responsibility for yourself. You've taken responsibility for your emotions. You've purged out. You've created space. You understand things a lot. Um, I definitely feel with the energy, this King of Cups is going to be helping you here with this Hierophant energy that you're in to deal with certain situations. Certain situations that just, and certain people that just need to tie up. They're just loose ends that need tying up. Um, something that you need to know for the week, we've got the Ten of Swords. I feel like this is this is talking about somebody who is coming in who if if you have split up with somebody in the recent past they could be coming back and they're wounded and they could be coming back in with their wounded energy but here I feel like you've got all the tools to communicate with them and to close certain things up here let's take a quick look actually yeah yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody here has not uh, been able to let go as you have. They haven't gained that wisdom that you gained from the situation. They're trying to balance things out. They're trying to move forwards, but they still have some sort of attachment. So you may need to kind of explain things to them, but I feel like you're going to do it in a compassionate way. So it's not going to create any more sort of drama. But this Ten of Swords, I feel that this is somebody else here. We've got two cards here. We've got Justice and the World. Yeah, and you're going to just bring balance to this situation. There's going to be some communication. Somebody feels cheated, I want to say, or hard done by here. But you're going to bring a closure to it to have this kind of new beginning. Um... Again, it might not necessarily be a love sort of person, a romantic love person. It could be a family member. But you're going to bring in a balance with this person, peace with this person um, and this situa or this situation. There's going to be a peace here. There's going to be peace and you're going to be the one to, to deliver it. Your energy for the week ahead, yep, six of pentacles. You're going to be bringing in balance. This person, you've grown a lot and this person isn't, hasn't grown to the point that you've grown to. You hasn't gained that same wisdom. Um, so you're going to be kind of more nurturing to them in this situation. You're going to be taking the, the high road or what is it? You're going to be the bigger person, okay? 
um, and you're going to be nurturing to them. But you are literally, I feel, going to be tying up any loose ends here. Person is the queen of wands. Now, I don't feel that this is this person who is kind of... I don't feel that this is this person that is going to be coming in or these people that are going to come in. I feel like this is somebody who, again, when you've tied up this loose ends, you're going to be stepping in with this queen of wands. This queen of wands is working on things herself at the moment. She's in preparation, whether it's a male or a female. The feminine energy is preparing. It's like this person's in the divine hub at the moment, the divine womb. Um, again, they've probably not got lots of things going on in their physical world. They're probably just a little bit more isolated at the moment, but preparing. Um, they're kind of working on themselves at the moment, but they are, and they're working on their feminine energy, a lot of self-love, a lot of nurturing themselves um, and developing themselves. And they're focusing on um yeah they're focusing on themselves but you're going to be very attracted to this person but i feel it's going to be after all this stuff is kind of closed up okay so yeah could definitely be talking about family members here family members or you know if this is talking about an ex there may be their family members um come in and are angry about something or frustrated or you know bitter or hurt Okay, you're going to bring in balance here. There's another four here, so four of pentacles and then four for the happy family. You're going to bring in stability. You're going to bring in balance. You're going to be the bigger person. You're going to be nurturing to them even if, you know, even if something is not your fault and you're being blamed for something, I feel like you're going to be the bigger person here. We've got the ten of cups as well, bottom of the deck. So it's definitely this focus on bringing balance and happiness and harmony into a family situation here. Um, if this queen of wands is person that you're with, I feel that they are just focusing on themselves at the moment. They are kind of like focusing on themselves. You're going to be dealing with the family members, okay, or the friends or the ex-partner, whoever it is. Yeah, it could be an ex, an ex-marital -mar partner that you need to deal with. Um, so it could be something about the kids or, you know, there could be different situations here, but you're kind of dealing with that. This your your person is focusing on themselves. So whether this is a new person or somebody that you're with, if it's somebody that you're with at present, they are kind of focusing on themselves and preparing to be able to work with you on something major after this scenario. Um, so that's what I've got for you guys here. This is great energy. This is you're in really good energy. You really are. You're in very. Um, you're in good karma energy. That's what you are. You're going to be getting some good karma from this. Most definitely. Most definitely. And you're going to be helping the people that are coming towards you as well. You're going to be helping them. You're going to be helping them to kind of grow up a little bit. For some of you guys, this is most definitely maybe involving kids. Regardless of what age they are. You know. It could be adult kids. Um... But yeah, this is what I've got for you guys for the week ahead. So take care, guys.